Hello everyone and welcome to Fun to be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun to be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. I hope you packed your hiking boots. Here we are at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Disney's Wilderness Lodge is located at the Walt Disney World Resort near the Magic Kingdom Resort area on Bay Lake. Wilderness Lodge is modeled after the atmosphere of the national parks of the Western United States and features both natural and Native American elements. The main building was modeled after the Old Faithful Inn in Yellowstone National Park. Let's go up the steps here and look at the portico with its large ceiling. But now let's go through the double doors here of the Wilderness Lodge. If you look just up ahead here on the ground, there's a little floor mat with the Wilderness Lodge logo on it. And over on the left hand side is a nice little sitting area while you wait for your car for valet or bus. But let's go through the double doors and see what it looks like on the inside of the lobby. And we're greeted immediately by this overhead pedestrian bridge. But remember that, we'll come back to that later. We're gonna keep going through this set of double doors into the lobby. And here is the majestic and Grand Wilderness Lodge Lobby. Wilderness Lodge has eight floors of lodge pole pine imported from Oregon, as well as a 55 foot authentic totem pole and an 82 foot fireplace representing the colorful rocks of the Grand Canyon. This display represents Northwestern Native American artifacts, myths, legends, and stories. Take a look at the craftsmanship in the wood floor and the Native American design. But located just over to our right hand side is the front desk for check-in. And now let's go check out the gift shop located here in the main building of the Wilderness Lodge lobby. And we're immediately greeted with a totem pole. Look at this. There's Mickey and Goofy and Donald and Humphrey the Bear. That's pretty fun. But let's take a look up here at the sign, the Wilderness Lodge Mercantile, established 1994. That's when the hotel opened. But let's proceed through the entrance here. And it looks like we're greeted with some specialty merchandise offerings here at the Wilderness Lodge. There's a Snow White t-shirt and a neat little carved wooden box. Also, Humphrey the Bear on the mug. Let's look to see how much the Tervis mug is. It is $28.99. There's some additional mug offerings, again with the totem pole of the characters. Let's see how much this one is. $23.99. Let's take a quick look at the rest of the shop here. Here's a merchandise or a register wrap. And some masks. And this is neat. Nice vaulted ceiling up ahead with some Native American artwork. And let's go check out the back section here. It looks like there's a cooler section. Let's go look at that. There's sodas for junior explorers and also some grown up explorer beverages. Wilderness Lodge also offers the Disney Resorts H2O beauty products. If you haven't tried these, I would highly recommend them. But let's make a left here and we're going to head out the exit. There's the exit sign. We'll just go right out here and we're going to make a right and immediately greeted by this double doors and it's going to take us outside into this covered walkway and on the right hand side is a store display and just up ahead is the Buttons and Bells game arcade. And we're going to proceed straight here. Oh, it's like I always say, 
ring that notification bell. And now we're going to proceed down the pathway here. We're going to go check out the bus transportation that takes you to all four Disney parks, water parks, and Disney Springs. And we're going to make a right as we come up to this little fork in the road and head down to the bus transportation. And here is the bus stop. Let's head up the ramp back to the crossroads and check out the Boulder Ridge Villas. There is the fork in the road. If we look just over to the right hand side, we're going to see a nice little sign here. The Disney Vacation Club or DVC is a vacation timeshare program owned and operated by the Walt Disney Company. The Boulder Ridge Villas are a different video journey for another day, but let's go back to the main lobby. We're just coming up to the main building of the lobby and we're going to go back through these double doors which we came earlier. And just up on the right hand side here is a nice little directory giving us a brief overview of the resort offerings here. But if we proceed up ahead, let's see if we could catch an elevator up to the seventh floor. We're going to make a right and swing around here. Try to find the elevators. Let's go hit the button. I'm going to go hit the button for the elevator. And I think there's an elevator just over here waiting for us now. Oh yeah, the doors are open. Let's go in. Look at this nice elevator with the Native American artwork. But let's hit the button for floor number seven. Look at this nice fixture, lighting fixture. But the doors are opening behind me. And we're backing out of the elevator now. And we're going to make a right in my direction. And we're greeted by some artwork here. Up ahead, some more nice Wilderness Lodge artwork. And we're going to make a right. And we see the Old Faithful Club. At the moment, the Old Faithful Club is not operating, but I'm hoping very shortly. And here's just a little plaque that says the Old Faithful Club, please use magic band or card to enter. And there's where you place it for these doors to open. That's the Old Faithful Club up on the top level there. And here is the large lobby of the Wilderness Lodge. And down below is the Whispering Canyon Cafe, but we'll go check that out in a moment. But let's proceed here. There's some nice rocking chairs to enjoy the view and ambiance here in the main lobby. And if you look on the opposite side, there's some stairways that go up and down, all the way down to the main level. We're gonna take those stairs straight up ahead here. We're gonna go down these steps here. There's so many areas to discover here inside the main lobby of the Wilderness Lodge. Let's go take a look at a few. Just across the way are a couple of chairs next to a roaring fireplace. That's pretty cool relaxing. Just on the right hand side is a nice little guest laundry room here on the second floor. Let's give a quick example what it looks like inside. But let's go check out another fun little area to discover. It's just up ahead here on the right hand side. It's a nice little sitting area with a table and chairs and sofa so you can hang out with your family and friends and there's nice little balcony outside too. Let's go see that. I'm going to go through this door here. Just this nice little balcony that has the overlook to the Copper Creek Springs. So peaceful. But we'll check out the Copper Creek Springs pool and spa in just a moment. Let's head back inside the main lobby and see if we could explore some additional areas. Here's a nice little area to get your work done. And here on the second floor is a cozy fireplace with a sitting area. And some more Native American artwork. We're on the second floor still. And we're going to head down the steps directly behind me. We're going to go look at the Whispering Canyon Cafe. We're just coming off the steps. And we're going to go through this door here. Oh yeah, 
Remember when I said, remember that pedestrian bridge overhead as we came through the double doors? Well, here we are, we're on it, and there's those double doors. But let's proceed straight ahead here and head through this door as well. I'm gonna walk down these steps here. And over to our left-hand side are the restrooms and telephone. But we're gonna swing right. Here it is, the Whispering Canyon Cafe. Whispering Canyon Cafe has all you care to enjoy signature skillets, including the traditional, the pig, the land and sea, and plant-based options, all for only $34. Let's go take a look at that enormous fireplace. And there's that large totem pole. And some oversized chairs. Look how big these chairs are. They look comfortable. And we've come up to this cozy fireplace. If you look closely in the stone, there's fossils and minerals of the Grand Canyon. But we could check that out in this display case right up here. Look, fossils and minerals of the Grand Canyon. Here's a rustic hand pump car. I've been working on the railroad. There's also some wood for the firebox. But let's swing over to our right hand side and see what we could discover. It looks like it's the Copper Creek Springs. Here's the Copper Creek Springs. Check this out. There's a hot springs inside the lobby. That's pretty neat. Right now it's a gentle stream and it's passing under this debris and it's going outside. Let's go see if we can find where it goes. We're going to walk over this bridge and if you look just outside on the right hand side there's a nice little exterior seating area and here's this oversized wilderness lodge sign with the territory lounge up ahead artist point dining just over to the right hand side roaring fork in the pool down below and with, along with the restrooms and the cabins but let's go out the door located on the right hand side here let's go outside We're just outside the main lobby of the Wilderness Lodge. Directly on my right hand side is the Copper Creek Springs where it became the gentle stream. Let's have a look. There's where the Copper Creek came from inside and it's forming this nice little stream here. We're gonna walk straight ahead and we're gonna check out some directional signage. Over to the right is the Overlook. We'll head there now and to the left is the Copper Creek Pool. Let's go to the Overlook. Oh, it looks like this stream is gonna become Copper Creek Falls in a moment. Take another gander at the stream before it becomes the Copper Creek Falls. Up ahead, it looks like it's the Copper Creek Pool and Spa. But let's proceed off to the right-hand side. And we're just coming up to the overlook here. And it looks like we can see the Copper Creek Pool and Spa. Did I mention it's a beautiful day here at the Walt Disney World Resort? If we look just over to our left hand side, there's the exterior guest rooms of the nice Wilderness Lodge. And here's the right hand side, looking at it from the overlook. Let's head back the direction we came and see if we could locate the Copper Creek Falls. There's that directional sign again. I'm gonna continue down these steps. And we're just coming off the steps now. And there's another entrance into the main lobby of the Wilderness Lodge. And here's the magnificent Copper Creek Falls. We're gonna go check out Geyser Point Bar and Grill. And here's a quick look at the Copper Creek Pool with water slide. And we've come up on the Salon by the Springs Spa, but it's not currently operating today. And we're just coming up on Geyser Point Bar and Grill. Geyser Point Bar and Grill offers signature libations like a blueberry lemonade for $14, a huckleberry punch for $15, and a bourbon breeze for $15. Here's just a quick look of Geyser Point Bar and Grill on the back side near Bay Lake. And here's the view of Bay Lake as you enjoy your signature libation. But now let's head back the direction we came 
and go check out Fire Rock Geyser. Oh, and look at these guys. There's plenty of wildlife here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. They're headed down to Bay Lake for a swim. There they go. Into Copper Creek, which leads into Bay Lake. How cute. Over on our left hand side is the Copper Creek pool again. There's the splash pad. And right here is the spa for grown up explorers. But let's look over our right hand shoulder and see if we could discover Fire Rock Geyser. Oh yeah, there it is, Fire Rock Geyser. But it looks like it's not operating today. There's a little sign here. Fire Rock Geyser is not currently operating. We apologize for the inconvenience. Normally, Fire Rock Geyser would be operating every hour on the hour, but not today. But we're gonna continue down this wood path deck and we're gonna go check out the boat transportation. Follow me. We're just walking down the wooden deck pathway and we're coming up to Bay Lake here. Oh look, there's the boat that takes us over to the Magic Kingdom. Here's the entrance with a red flag to Disney's Magic Kingdom. And there's the boat pulling away from the dock. And here's the sign with the entrance with the blue flag to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground and Disney's Contemporary Resort. And here we are on Bay Lake. How tranquil and peaceful and quiet. Let's turn around, go back the way we came, and check out Roaring Fork. We're just continuing to walk down the wooden dock here. I just wanted to show you how restful and relaxing it is down here by the lake. We're just coming off the wooden deck walkway and we're gonna make a left here on this concrete pathway. And up ahead is Roaring Fork. And just over on the left hand side, here's the Copper Creek Pool again. And here's Roaring Fork's exterior patio where you can enjoy your meal. Oh, look at this. There's even little critter tracks in the concrete. How cute. We're just coming up the Roaring Fork. We're gonna go inside these double doors here and check out the menu. And just off to the left hand side is the menu for Roaring Fork. Roaring Fork has a couple of featured offerings and they include the Campfire Cupcake for $5.99 and also the Cream Sickle Cupcake for $5.99. We're going to go have a look at the inside of Roaring Fork. We're going to go through these double doors. And we're going to make a left into the mobile order pickup area. And over here on the right hand side is a little counter where you pick up your order, your food. But we're going to head over to the right hand side now. And we're looking at this nice little display case with outdoor camping gear and fishing equipment. And there's just a quick look at the dining room. But we're going to go out the exit through this door here and we're going to make a right and we're going to make a right hand turn here and head up this ramp. This ramp leads up to the main lobby and we're approaching the top of the ramp and located over on the right hand side is Artist Point but at the moment it's not currently operating but it appears that the Territory Lounge may be open today. Let's go have a peek and see if they are. Here's the ramp that takes us up to Artist Point. At the top of the ramp, we're going to make a left and see if we could check out Territory Lounge. It doesn't appear to be open at the moment, but maybe later this afternoon or evening. We're just coming off the ramp from Territory Lounge and Artist Point area, and we're going to make a right and kind of a U-turn and check out this wall here. Here's the check-in area for Artist Point, and directly overhead, there's some very nice artwork for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. There's the door we went through to go outside earlier. And here's that large directional sign we saw. We're going to keep going here through the main lobby and head over to the main entrance. We're going to make a right here. And we're going to go through the double doors straight up ahead. It's very relaxing here in the main lobby with this nice little sitting area. 
but we're going to continue through the doors here. Time's running out for today's adventure. There's a time shift in the space-time continuum. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle. But sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Wilderness Lodge just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.